Hi, I'm Ragnimus, and this is my YouTube channel. So you're wondering, can I make a GoPro 10 into a webcam or my stream camera? The quick answer, yes. If that's what you're looking for, there it is. If you want to know how, continue to watch. Also, don't be a stranger. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can and what you need to make a GoPro 10 into a webcam or stream camera. All the products we're going to talk about are going to be linked below, so make sure to check those out after you watch the video. Let's get started. Now, as you know, the GoPro is an action recording camera by itself. It's a great camera, great quality, and records really great videos. And if you look right here, this is a video of me of hunting. We're not here to talk about the recording qualities of a GoPro 10. We already know that as an action camera, outdoors recording camera, it's what it's built for. But the good question and the big question that we're here asking today is, can I use it in replacement of a DSLR or a webcam? And the answer is, again, yes, you can. Um, will it, be, it will perform better than a webcam and obviously not as good as a DSLR, but it's kind of a good middle ground. Um, the price is reasonable and kind of one of the reasons I purchased this. To answer the question that we're all here for, how do I do that? Well, number one, lighting. Lighting is the most important thing of recording or streaming. This is my lighting setup with my GoPro 10. Now, as you can see, the lights are both on currently. I'm going to turn off one. And as you can see, the quality changes. Some pixelation happens. My one side's darker than the other. You might like this look, and that's fine. But it also shows the low light quality of the GoPro 10. Number two, GoPro 10. Or maybe the 9. You've got an older version. That's fine. Number three, the media mod. Media Mod is an extra that adds into the GoPro 10. It kind of connects and allows you to hook up an HDMI and a USB-C to charge it to the GoPro 10. Number four, capture card. Now, the Media Mod and the capture card go hand in hand. You need that cord to run from the Media Mod into the capture card. Here's a little diagram. Now... It's not very hard set up. You got a capture card. You got the media mod. You plug in the HDMI there. You plug in the HDMI there. Easy. Now, there is a way to do it with GoPro software that is on their website. You can download it and use it as a webcam. The quality is not as great as an actual capture card. I recommend the capture card setup. Now, if you happen to have a capture card just sitting around, perfect. I did have that. I had an Avery Media capture card sitting around, and it works great. I've also seen the Elgato Cam Link. That's a highly recommended, and I will put that link down below as well. So other than those things, those are the main components. Obviously, you're going to need wiring and HDMI cords and all of that, but that's basically it. You're also going to need the streaming software whichever you use, Streamlabs, it should all work. It all will come in as a media source on that designated streaming software or recording software. This right here is my settings for my GoPro when I'm live. Now, if you look here, you'll see a little bit of a video footage of me live streaming. You got me at the spot, dude. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, in front of it or back of it? Back of it. I got a healer, I'm dead. Grenade out. Don't go for it. We got... Oh, dude. I seen him. Oh, my grenade! That grenade was... Wah! That shows you a little bit of... what the quality looks like when live. Obviously, while I'm recording this, I'm streaming at a higher... or recording at a higher quality than I would when I'm streaming. And that's it. That shows you the quality of a GoPro 10 for a streaming camera or blogging camera. Hope this video has helped you. Make sure to make a comment below if you have any questions or concerns and other future videos to make. I will be making more videos on other things and reviews and other content. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button 
and I hope to see you guys later. Have a good day.